visiting Victory Lane once again here at the Jeffersonville Sports Drum Speedway and our Dromer figure eight race winner here tonight. Feature event winner, first time for the uh, 2010 racing season, John Embry. John, it was a great uh, run for you. First couple of weeks of the year, did not uh, uh, compute to a feature event win, but you came back and got him about the third week. Yeah, it was, I, I gained the lead about the 15th lap and it was it was running pretty good and I wasn't even going to start the race. The transmission was making noise in it, but it held on until I got back in the tech area and it went out back there. It wouldn't even roll on the tech area back there. 15th lap of the event, uh, chasing down some some drivers that maybe got to start a little further up front, but since you're so high in the point standings, you had to start near the rear of the field. Uh, had some uh, uh, company back there, of course, with Chris Workman, but you race, out-raced him, of course, for position, and then was able to get get the lead. Yeah, he's a uh, real good competition. He's tough to beat, you know, Chris is. He won the championship last year, and I was right there, but just wasn't there at the end. <laughs> Third week into the season, though, you finally made it to Victory Lane. Uh, uh, a big winner out at the Carl Casper Car Show with this machine. It's a very good-looking car. We'll give you a chance to mention some of your sponsors. Uh, BNC Towing's a lot of help to me. He helped me last year and he's helped me this year. Uh, grade 8, uh, Allstate, uh, Nick's Powder Keg, and uh, Who's Next Towing. All righty, and look for John Embry to be up near the top of the standings during the 2010 racing season in this flying number zero machine. Welcome back to the fastest two minutes in Kentuckiana Motorsports from Sportsdrome Speedway. Artie Ware, the winner of the G&G Radiator Keep Cool 100. Second win of the season out of three events. you got to be thrilled. Tickled to death. Uh... We just built us a new car, try to come out with it, uh, try to make a next, next step towards everybody else, trying to keep up with their equipment. But old Betsy here just keeps on getting it done for us. A, a new track record in qualifying tonight. Uh, you got to be thrilled with that, Artie. Yeah, right before qualifying, I hadn't had any laps in this car all day. Right before qualifying, we made a shock change. Uh, Gary Johnson helped us out with that and uh, appeared to be the right call. And uh, again, uh, a little bit, uh, when they say keep cool, it was one of the coolest nights of the year out here, but that's good for horsepower, but maybe bad for tires, right? Actually, it, uh, it's good for the tires too. Uh, gives us a little bite, uh, makes the track a little bit faster, uh, puts on a little bit better race for the fans. As we watch the uh, race unfold, it was uh, the, the racing surface looks just as smooth as silk, and you couldn't ask for a finer racing surface. Uh, a lot of scrambling behind you for position. Chris Harmon eventually was gamed up, but then following a caution flag period, uh, the open intersection, you were able to put the hammer down and just out horse firing. Yeah, and times passed. Uh, this car here, by 50 laps in, it's religiously, it just starts to go away on me after that uh, shock change we made tonight. Didn't appear to go away at all. It was still seemed to fast on the last laps. It was the first. Talked to Chris Harmon after the race. He said, I was just uh, waiting on Artie. Maybe he would break, but it didn't break. Artie Ware went to victory lane in the G&G Radiator Keep Cool 100 here at Sports Drum Speedway. Congratulations, Artie. Thanks, Frank. There you have it. Artie Ware, our winner at Sports Drum Speedway. Well, race fans, he came up with a third place finish in the G&G Radiator Keep Cool 100. Uh, third place, not where you wanted to be. You wanted to go to victory lane with the with the victory, of course, but uh, you got to be thrilled to at least finish a grueling race like that. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. We built a new car over the winter and uh, come home second in the last big race and third tonight. We're getting an inch and we're wanting to get up in that victory lane. So, yeah, the car's really fast. We just need to get a couple more breaks and hopefully by the next, the two hour, we'll get to put her in there and carry the checker flag around. What would have taken tonight to close up the distance between uh, you and of course uh, Chris there at second? Well, I had, a, I had a little bit for him early on. The car was really fast. And then I think I got the tires a little bit too hot. And fell back a little bit. We stayed pretty consistent. Already was a couple car lengths in front of him and I was a couple car lengths back. And uh, maybe one or two more cautions would have helped. Kept everybody uh, equal, kept everybody's tires cool. but. Uh, the track got a little hot and slick, and uh, we just, everybody was just kind of hanging on there at the end, I think. Well, do you think if you could have got to Chris, would you have had anything for Isgrig, though? Isgrig broke early in the race, but uh, he was a fast car as well. He was really fast. Him and Artie and all the guys were fast tonight. Uh, I think eight cars broke the track record, so uh, uh, 
everybody was real fast and the tracks real fast over here it was a cool night tonight and it just made everybody run a little bit better i think my car early in the race was really fast it's probably the best car i've ever had over here um, and then i guess i guess passing a few guys got qualified seventh it took a had to get around a few guys where i could get up there into third and once i got in there i think i got the tires a little too hot um, maybe if i could have qualified a little bit better and started up front i'd have had a shot at them jeff uh let's give you a chance to mention some of the sponsors on your machine this year i uh, like to especially thank my brother at Kentucky Clutch. He helped me out a lot. Uh, we put a lot of hours in. Him, my dad, and Sean works over there with him. And building that car over the last three or four months is starting to pay off now. We're starting to see some good finishes. Okay, so there you have it. Jeff Harmon, a third-place finisher in the G&G &G Radiator Keep Cool 100 right here at Sportstrom Speedway.